So, back in the day, one time, a long time ago, I was a child, a small child, maybe like you watching, who knows, I don't know how old any of you are, and little small child me absolutely just loved to draw in sketchbooks. And for this video, I walked over to my bookshelf, grabbed that big stack of sketchbooks off of it, dusted them off, took a deep breath, and then flipped through them. So today I will share some of my old drawings with you. The nice thing about these old sketchbooks is that I tended to write the date on every page, and now that's extremely useful for me because I was able to know the exact age I was when I made a lot of these drawings. Thanks, tiny me. And one thing I'll say about these sketchbooks, one thing I really like, which is one of the few things I like about them, is that you can really just tell how much I was just drawing for the fun of it. Like, I didn't care what other people thought. I wasn't planning on showing these drawings off to anyone. It was just whatever I wanted. Whatever I was thinking went down on that page. And you'll see that uh, <laughs> some some weird stuff, but, <laughs> but let's get started. Okay, here are my drawings when I was about nine or 10. I was a warrior's kid, so you'll notice that there's a lot of cats among these drawings. Here's a cat that looks like it's seen some things. Here is another cat with kind of a wacky side profile very unique. Here is a horrifying cat. Does it have eyebrows or eyelids? What are those? Its face is so flat too. It almost looks like the cats from Cats, you know? Just kind of weirdly human-like. Not a fan. Here's a cat that I think is a little bit better. Just, just a little. Got some very scribbly shading going on here. Very nice. And another cat that kind of looks like it's seen some things. Complete with a mountain and a sunshine in the background. How lovely. And oh my goodness, it's a dog with terrifying human eyes. We are all going to have the same nightmare tonight. <laughs> Moving on. Here we have a nice smiley golden retriever and a smiley fox. And I'm not really sure what this is, to be honest. Like I said, I would just draw whatever popped into my head. We have this very cartoony superhero dog, Buddy, apparently. I'm going to make my own superhero universe. Buddy will be the first in line of a league of superheroes that are just so much better than everything in Marvel and DC. Can't even compare. Okay, but actually, I feel like some of my like really cartoony drawings were actually pretty good at least compared to my other ones. And oh, wow, um, to be honest, I don't even know what this is. I don't remember drawing this. The more you look at it, the worse it gets. It has a circle pupil and a square pupil and a top hat. Moving on, let's look at this instead. A nice flower. I think this is actually quite lovely. Good job, me. The pot is a bit lumpy, but you know, it's maybe it's just the style. Maybe it wasn't that I couldn't draw a nice line to save my life. Totally on purpose. Okay, so that concludes my nine to 10 year old drawings. Moving on to my 11 to 12 year old drawings. You can see I continue to draw cats, started to get maybe a little bit better. This one is actually quite nice. I remember being proud of this. And I was also very proud of this. Occasionally I would make a drawing that just really stood out and for some reason was so much better than everything else I would make because 90% of the stuff in my sketchbook is not nearly this good. It was all pretty terrible. But then I would just kind of randomly level up for one drawing and that's it. And I would also sort of invent creatures by combining them, which is funny because that's still something I like to do today. And so here we have a paca bunny. Each wing is two feet long. For some reason I decided that that was important. And I just looked it up because I was curious. Apparently hawks can't eat rabbits. So I don't know what this particular creature eats, but if it eats rabbits, that is a tad bit concerning. Or maybe a hawk bit a rabbit and that rabbit turned into a hawk -a bunny like Spider-Man. So many ways that we could take this and make lore around it. We're gonna add this to my superhero team. And here's a dragon, pretty neat, kind of wonky, but I'm willing to forgive myself. And a horse, I also drew a lot of horses. I really went from having my phase where I would mostly draw cats to a phase where I would mostly draw horses. And then after that, I was really just all over the place. Another horse, my goodness, this one is actually <laughs> quite good compared to all my other drawings. It's one of those standout ones. <laughs> like, I don't know how to explain these drawings. Here are some cartoony ones where I was experimenting with shapes. And is this our first attempt at a human that I'm showing? I think it is. So I would say this is one of my better ones, although I'm pretty sure I was going for a smile. That is not a smile. Be better than me and don't try to draw every single tooth. I was naive and didn't know better. Committed an art crime and I'm very ashamed. And also I, I don't think this thing has eyebrows. <laughs> I just noticed that. Moving on. This one does have eyebrows, but maybe it's for the best that I left the eyebrows off of the last one because this just feels significantly worse. Oh goodness, this style is not it. 
And I don't even know what this expression is. She's just judging you. She's judging me for drawing this. She demands to know why she was made. I'm so sorry. Here's another human. I went through a short phase where I only drew eyes like this. It's an interesting style. At least I was going for something. It's very like geometric with the square. That's not a square. Uh, I was gonna say square mouth, a uh, triangle mouth and squares in her eyes. A lot of my drawings were only half finished. So here is a half finished wolf. This one is also judging me because I never finished it. It has had to live out the years being incomplete and I may never be forgiven. So now these drawings aren't really from when I was a kid anymore. But moving on to my 13 to 14 year old sketchbooks, we are starting with this Yoda pumpkin. I remember I made this by painting a pumpkin and attaching paper ears to it, which was a lot of fun. And, and at this point, I started to be a little bit more brave with drawing humans, I was practicing poses and anatomy. And here's an eye. I was trying to think of a joke I could make with this, but I can't think of a joke, so we're gonna move on. And I like this one a lot, actually. It's really cute. This dragon that's kind of terrifying looking with a little girl. And it appears sweet, but maybe the dragon just eats her immediately after this. Just goes, haha, psych! The wholesome moment quickly turned tragic. And another take on trying to draw human faces. Still not quite there, but compared to what I was doing before, I'll take it. <laughs> she shaved one of her eyebrows. And I remember at this point, I would draw with blue pens a lot for some reason. And so when I opened to this page, I could literally smell the ink and it just took me back. <laughs> Very nostalgic. Here is a colored pencil drawing of my cat and a horse and another horse. I think I did a pretty good job with the mane on this one. Although really, I don't think any horse's mane looks this good. This horse has got to be like on a shampoo commercial or something, <laughs> which now I really want to see. Just a shampoo commercial with horses instead of pretty women. Okay, and last of all, I have some things where I wasn't really sure exactly what age I was when I made it, but I still wanted to include it in this video. So <laughs> we're going to start with a fairly normal one. I remember drawing this cat and I happened to be in public and this older girl said that she liked it and I was happy. Yay. Okay, I almost didn't include this one in the video, but it's so funny. I genuinely don't know what I was going for with this, but let me, let me just read this. Can I do this without laughing? Let's find out. Why have ordinary dog teeth when you can have, <laughs> when you can have super awesome doggy teeth? Wait, no. Super doggy awesome teeth. Wow, I want teeth like that. Don't I look amazing? <laughs> what? What? Are these just dog dentures? Or maybe this is like an operation you get done to have your teeth replaced. I don't think dogs ever feel self-conscious about anything, but if they did, you know, super doggy awesome teeth with awesome spelled wrong. And another thing of the same sorts, I'd say, you remember the Hawka bunny? Now get ready for, um, hold on. So we have a, cat and a dog combined to make a cog. A cog and a swan combined are a swag. And the swag combined with an alligator is a swagator. Combined with a monkey is a swanky. And looking at this, I think perhaps I might just need to recreate the swanky. I'll just make a super detailed, rendered, realistic looking drawing of it and it will strike fear into the hearts of my enemies. Okay, and here we have our most recent drawing. I think this must have been around 2019. I just thought this was so funny. I was struggling here. I remember this actually. <laughs> I could not do hands. What's going on? You can, I, I knew it wasn't going well. <laughs> my, my little, what is this? <laughs> just about gave up my art career that day. But here are my hand drawings from memory now. So, you know, we're getting there. So there we have it. I didn't show you any of my My Little Pony art. So sorry, so sad. Guess we just uh, ran out of time. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you're new here, consider checking out my other videos, maybe the one on screen right now. And if you're not new here, but haven't subscribed yet, consider doing so. And now that I've confessed all of my art crimes, I best start running. Bob Ross and a whole battalion should be outside of my door any moment now. I fear for my life, so bye.